Zaltotronics manufactures the world's number one heat press. The reason the heat presses are number one is because they can print practically anything. With the right interchangeable platen, you can thread your item on and be able to print it. Now, Hotronics has manufactured 11 by 15 attachments, 6 by 20 attachments for sleeves and legs, hat bill attachments, shoe attachments, but their smallest attachment to date has either been a 6 by 10 or a 7 inch round. These don't allow you to print some of the smallest, tightest locations. So I'm excited to introduce to you the new 4x4 platen, which will allow you to print <laughs> sleeves, neck labels, small pockets on bags, and tough to reach areas on polos and jackets. Let me show you how this works over on the Hotronics Fusion heat press. First, we'll remove the 16 by 20 platen from the press in order to load our 4x4 attachment. Now the Hotronics line of heat presses now features the quick change attachment, so it's very easy to take out the 16 by 20 and drop in the 4x4 platen. Now let's show you how easy it is to split a polo and load it on. Youth or ladies polos are a perfect item for this attachment because it gets rid of the extra seam structure and the buttons on this small print surface. On other attachments, often those are still on the print surface causing pressure issues. The 4x4 platen is also perfect for sleeves. Look at how easy it is to thread a short sleeve onto the attachment to heat print a logo. Additionally, you can hit a lot of different print placements on bags. In this case, on the sling bag, we're showing you how to do the front pocket area. We can even do the front of the bag or the top of the bag near the strap area with a logo. Multiple locations and tough to reach locations are possible with this platen. Simply press and apply. Nice, even, perfect pressure. Let's show you a backpack that has a lot of buckles and seams. Depending on which style of press you have, you just split the item and load it onto the platen with the fusion, the bulk of the bag loads below. And we've heat applied CAD cut thermofilm onto this bag in a quick, easy application. A very popular item for selling to schools or teams is a cinch bag. The small pocket on this cinch bag is easy to split and thread onto the attachment. The attachment tends to work best with the Fusion family of heat presses because it has a very slim base underneath for loading as well, although it can be compatible with the clam styles. If you want to do neck labels, we'll show you here the rip away tag, and we can just position this on the press to put our own custom tag in or label. On track jackets, specifically youth styles or those with a unique seam structure, this is perfect. This gets rid of those press areas and heat press marks on polyester performance wear because the seams are dropping over the edge. On this windbreaker, we have a port pocket which is typically for an embroidery hoop, but it works perfectly for this 4x4 platen as well where I can split, load it, line up my design, and heat print. In this case, a multicolor application from CAD Cut Premium Plus. As you can see, the bulk of the jacket is tucked beneath the cantilever design of the Fusion, and we're only dealing with the print surface, getting it perfectly flat for quality, accurate, durable results. So as you can see, the 4x4 platen can allow you to print a lot of different areas and a lot of unique items, really solving top challenges for your business, allowing you to sell more products. I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV. Thanks for watching. At Stalls TV, we're always creating new videos and classes to help your business stay on top in the competitive, decorated apparel world. So we don't want you to miss any of it. So sign up here for StallsTV.com where you'll get exclusive access to live videos, events, and tools to help make your business more successful. Click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel, where you'll get constant updates on new videos, or click here to view the webpage for the products you just saw in this video.